Hello and welcome to another Lunch with Lisa. I'm Lisa Warner. I'm the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing and I help you make healing simple. So today I wanted to talk about being the light you are. What if the only thing your body needs to heal itself is you, to be you. We're body, mind, and soul. The soul is who and what we are. The soul of us, the soul, infinite eternal. We were the soul before we came into the body. We are the soul right now and we will be the soul after we leave our body. The soul. We are each created in divine perfection. Every soul is created by God, source, creator, whatever word you want to use. But every soul is created completely and totally unique. And we're given everything we need. There is no soul that's better than another. <laughs> there is no hierarchy of good, better souls. <laughs> We are all created in the image and likeness of the creator. And we have all of the same abilities. Everything we need, and we have free reign in this universe. We can go anywhere we want. Right now, we have obviously chosen to be here on earth at this time in these particular physical bodies. And just like every soul is unique, every body is unique. Just look at us, we all look completely different from each other. Even if you have tw a twin, you still there's differences, you still are different bodies, totally unique. But when we come into these physical bodies, we are taught sameness. Everybody goes to school. Everybody learns the same things. Everybody follows the same rules. Everybody does the same stuff. We're all taught that to be different is to be weird, <laughs> is to be outcast. And nobody wants to be different. Nobody wants to be outcast. Our uniqueness is not um, honored or respected here on this planet. Sometimes it is, but for the vast majority, it's not. Going to school, we want to be part of the popular crowd. We want to be in with the cool kids. You know, we want to have a crowd of, uh, we want to be able to fit in. We don't want to stand out because those that stand out, a lot of times, especially if you stand out in a really good way, throughout history, those that have stood out have gotten nailed to a cross, burned at the stake, beheaded, thrown off a cliff. <laughs> I'm sure the majority of us have been there in past lives. So we, as the divine beings of light, the souls that we are, we come here and we dim our light. We try to fit into a very dysfunctional world. Look at, hey, Kathy, hey, Brenda, thanks for joining today. Look at this world out there. It's so dysfunctional. 
but we're taught that we need to fit into a dysfunctional world. And as we try to fit ourselves into a dysfunctional world, we stop functioning as the divine beings of light we are. We stop shining our light bright. We stop being unique. We stop thinking our own unique thoughts. We stop seeing things from our own unique perception. And we start looking through the eyes of the others, start watching the news or listening to the teachers or listening to what the doctors are telling us, listening to what all the politicians are telling us. And we start seeing the world through the lens of other people. We start disconnecting from our own soul. And we start living a less than life. We start to feel uncomfortable in our own skin. We start to feel uncomfortable in this dysfunctional society. And hint, we're not meant to feel comfortable in a dysfunctional society. We're not meant to fit into a dysfunctional society at all. So what do we do about this? When we try to fit ourselves into a diseased society, we end up with disease. And then our bodies end up with the symptoms of disease. There's nothing wrong with our bodies. The problem is we're trying to fit ourselves into a dysfunctional world. We stop thinking our own thoughts and we start thinking the thoughts that we're told to think. We start doing the things that we're told to do. Pay your taxes or we're gonna put you in jail. Take a shot or we're never gonna let you leave your house ever again. And we just comply, even though inside our soul is crying out. Our bodies feel terrible when we do these things. It's like, oh, I don't want to do that, but I guess I have to do it anyway. Well, guess what? No, you don't. When we stop listening to our souls, when we stop following our soul's guidance, when we follow the guidance of everybody else out there, all of the experts, when we were told to follow the guidance of the experts, when we stop following our own inner guidance, we suffer. And we stop, when we start listening to everybody else's expertise on how our lives should be, we suffer. And when our bodies don't feel good, we're told to go to the experts, go to the doctors. They'll tell you what's wrong with you. Well, guess what? There's not a single thing wrong with you. There's not a single thing wrong with your body ever. Your body is always functioning exactly the way it's designed to function. But when you're fitting yourself into a diseased world and you're, you're, you're turning yourself into a shape that doesn't belong to you, your body is gonna take on the same shape. When you deform yourself to fit in to a deformed world, your body has to deform itself as well. The deformation in your body, the dis-ease in your body is simply the fact, it's mirroring the fact that you've dimmed your light, that you're no longer allowing full life force energy to flow through your body. You have turned the volume down. You have turned the dimmer switch way down so that your light is no longer shining bright. You no longer have the full complement of living life force energy coursing through your veins, feeding your soul, feeding your cells. 
when you're trying to live in a distorted world and you don't feel like doing all the things that they're telling you to do and it doesn't feel good living here and it doesn't feel good being here. Your being suffers. What if the only thing your body needs in order to heal itself is you to be you again? What if all your body needs is for you to turn up the dimmer switch so that you're fully lit up? What if your soul song, the passions of your soul is all you need to start living in alignment with who you came here to be, to start being who you truly are? What if, what if that is the remedy for all ills on this planet? What if, by each one of us turning our, turning our light back on, starting to be our own unique selves. What if that is what ends the disease? What if that is what ends the war? What if that ends all suffering on the planet? What if that being the souls that we are is what brings heaven back to earth? What if that restores all peace and harmony on this planet? What if being the light you are is all that's necessary? What if being you fully is what will change the world? But Lisa, how do I be who I'm supposed to be? I don't even know who I am. I have no idea why my soul is here. <laughs> well, let's just spend a few minutes and just connect. Let's connect in. If you're willing, just allow your eyes to close for a moment and just Listen to my words. Allow your imagination to just simply go where my words point. Just like a little bedtime story, just fantasy. Just allow yourself to just imagine. Let's take a couple of nice deep breaths and bring your attention inside your body, just inside where it's quiet, allowing the external world to fade into the background for a moment, imagining if in your heart you had a beautiful light like a sun, this ball of light in your heart that blazes forward, that, spent, that sends light in all directions. Just looking inside, into your chest space, into that heart space. See if you can see that beautiful ball of light. This ball of light, it's your light, the light of your soul. Allow this light to get bigger, like this sun to get larger and larger. It's still inside you. 
but let it get bigger and bigger and bigger until all of a sudden it starts to encompass you. You start to be this sun, this brilliant ball of light that shines every direction. Notice the quality of the light. What color is the light? How many colors are in the light? How does this light feel? This is your light. You can make this light feel any way you choose. Notice the peace, the harmony. The ease. Notice that your light is in harmony with source, with the universe, with God, whatever words you want to use. Notice that your light shines in harmony with Mother Nature, Mother Earth herself. Notice that when you are focused on your light, Everything just feels good. Notice how comfortable you are in your own light. This beautiful, unique light that is yours and yours alone. Every human on this planet has their own unique light. So allow yourself to revel in your light. Allow yourself to appreciate your light. Allow your light to shine even brighter. Let it get even bigger. If your light could change this planet, how would you do that? Wouldn't you allow your light to shine and allow it to feel so good that everybody else would wanna feel this way too? What if by shining your light really, really bright, and just by allowing yourself to feel really, really good, peaceful and at home in your own light. What if this is the invitation to all of humanity to remember their own light as well? Allow yourselves to drink in this light. Invite your physical body into this light with you. Allow your physical body to just relax and soak in this light that is you, your own light. What if? 
this light is stronger than any shot or any pill on this planet? What if this light is what your cells have been calling out for? What if this whole time your cells have been calling out for your attention? What if they're not sick? What if they're not diseased? What if there's nothing wrong with your cells? What if they've simply been sending out an SOS? What if your light is the antidote? What if your light is the cure? Your cure. What if your light, this brilliant, beautiful light, is what restores peace and harmony to you and your body, to you and your life, to you and all of your relationships? What if by being this light, this is what heals the world? What if you hold the keys to heaven? What if you being the light you are is what will restore heaven to earth. What if this restores your health? What if this restores your happiness? What if this is the answer you've been looking for? What if the light of your soul is the soul mate you've been dreaming of? Are you willing to be the light you are and shine? as your brilliant, unique self. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Lunch with Lisa. If you're needing assistance in being the light you are, so that you can heal your body naturally, so that you can live as the brilliant being of light you are, so that you can stop trying to fit yourself into a dysfunctional world, and you can start living as the brilliant being you are without the dysfunction. If it resonates, please reach out to me. You can find me at connectingyoutoyou.com. And on Facebook, you can find my group at Soul Sourced Healing on Facebook. So thank you for joining me for another episode of Lunch with Lisa. And until next week, create for yourselves a great week as you shine your light bright. Have a beautiful week. Until next week. Bye for now. <laughs>